Hi guys, it's Kendra from Crafty Kendra, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is bring in our card base. And our card base measures 5.5 by 4 and a quarter, and it's Knight of Navy. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is take some frost white shimmer paint, shake it up a little bit. We're just going to pour a little drop onto some saran wrap. And then I have a little crumpled piece of saran wrap right here. What we're going to do is we're just going to tap it onto this saran wrap with the shimmer paint and we're just going to dab it onto our card base. And we only need to worry about going around the edge. Alright, whenever you're done doing that, you're just going to go ahead and take your card base and set it aside so it can dry. <clears throat> the next thing that we're going to do is bring in a five and a quarter by four inch piece of old olive cardstock. And we're going to take our cutter tool. We're just going to Rough up the edges. Okay. Just gonna run our fingers along the edges to take off some of the extra little shavings that are hanging out there. Alright. Now I've already taken a <clears throat> five inch by three and a quarter inch piece of very vanilla cardstock. And I have stamped across it in basic black the little map stamp from the travel log stamp set. Okay, and I've given it time to dry. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our brayer and our crumb cake ink pad. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink up our brayer. Roll lifting, roll lifting, and we're just going to go from one side, roll lift, roll lift, and then we're going to re ink our brayer, turn our piece of cardstock the other way, and go again, roll lift, roll lift, roll lift. And it gives it a little bit of a different look, kind of like an old map, versus just using the regular crumb cake cardstock. The next thing we're going to do is set this aside and bring in a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock. And from the Travelogue stamp set, the stamp that says, the people we see, the places we go, the things we do, and using our old olive marker. We are just going to color in the words, but we're not going to color in any of the words we. Okay, and then we're going to try to center that, okay, and lift up. And see, whenever we stamp the sentiment, we have left out the we, so it says the people see, the places go, the things do. And then what we're going to do is bring in the 
Knight of Navy marker. We're going to use the fine point tip. We're just going to write in Yule. All right. Next thing we're going to do is I have already taken the travel log little stamp there. And I've stamped it on a post-it note and I've cut it out. And what we're going to do is lay that post-it note over our greeting. And you can see the, the greeting we just stamped through there. Not as great as I can see it. But I'm just going to take and center it where I want it. Press it down. Then you're going to take that brayer that we just used and go over it a few times. And I'm not re-inking the brayer because it still has some of the crumb cake inked on there. And it has just enough to make a really faint outline. And that's all that we need so that we can take our basic black marker and draw along that line. And after we are done just going along that line, and it doesn't have to be perfect, <clears throat> we are going to bring in another post-it note. And we're just going to create a straight line on that edge right there. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use a cotton round to do this with my bashful blue ink and then I'm just going to rub it along the top Just like that, lift it off the post-it, okay, and then we're going to pull the post-it down to the bottom edge, and just for the video, I'm going to flip it over, place the post-it back down, and rub it across the bottom. Okay, and remove that post-it, <clears throat> so then it has a nice little blue, white, blue. All right, and I've gone ahead and taken my scissors, and I've cut around our little badge there. And the next thing I'm going to do is bring in another cotton round and my early espresso ink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back in that little piece that we made look like an old-time map. And what we're going to do is with our little cotton round in our early espresso ink. We're just going to go around the edges to help age this map a little bit. Alright, and while I'm at it, I'm going to bring in a, another piece of very vanilla cardstock. And this piece measures 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters. And we're going to go ahead and sponge its edges too. Alright, and whenever we're done sponging its edges, we're going to set our ink pad aside and bring in our snail. We're just going to run some snail along the back of that very vanilla piece we sponged. Okay, I'm going to bring back in our card base and open it up. And this piece of very vanilla is just going to center on the inside. Okay. Then what we're going to do is take that piece of old olive that we roughed up the edges, add some snail to the back of it, and we're going to center it onto the front of the cardstock. Okay. 
And after it's in place, we're going to take our map looking piece, snail it up, and attach it inside that piece of old olive. Then we're going to bring in a quarter inch by five inch piece of Daffodil Delight and run some snail across the back of it. And we're going to place it about an inch and a half from the bottom of our map, pressing it down. I'm going to bring back in our badge piece and run some snail along the back. And I'm going to bring in a about a three inch piece of the striped grow grain pumpkin pie ribbon. And we're just going to peel up the edges, trying to get up some of those strands just to make it look a little tatterned. I'm going to do it on both ends. And we're going to lay it down onto our workstation and center our badge with the ribbon. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to place a few on the back. After we remove the backing, we are going to place it on our card. Right there to finish it off. And though it doesn't say happy graduation, it really does send a great sentiment if you needed to use it for that. It's also just a good way to encourage people who are making some big accomplishments in their life. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks.